Good morning, everybody. So first thing first in the morning, I like to start off with a glass of lemon water. I usually don't use a whole lemon, but today I just felt like something really zesty and lemony to start off my day. I find it's really good to help flush through the system if you do start your day off with a little bit of lemon water. It's very good for your kidneys, your liver, your whole kind of urinary tract system. <laughs> Don't mind the fact I just did a workout um, online this morning because we are on lockdown. So I just did an online workout and I'm a little bit sweaty. So the sponsor of today's video is Premium Jane. So they sell CBD oil, gummies, which I've been taking and loving. The mixed berry flavor is amazing, honestly so good does contain gluten though so if you are gluten free or celiac don't take these take the cbd oil if you are interested instead um, because that's more pure and honestly i just think the cbd oil in general is just like you're getting the essence of it it is better but i like the flavor of this better so i'm taking the gummies so these guys are vegan they are sustainably farmed and the company also does carbon neutral manufacturing they're free from pesticides herbicides solvents um, non-gmo as well which is so good so i do have a discount code for you guys which i'll leave on the screen for 25 percent off your purchase uh, i like the cbd oil the most if you were to consider getting something CBD oil is the best. It has so many healthful benefits. I know most people think of CBD oil, they think of like getting high, but as actually have, it actually has so many healthful benefits. It can help relieve anxiety, help you get a good night's sleep. If you do find that you're quite just like, you're quite restless during the night, you don't get a good night's sleep. It's good to help with, like I said, anxiety, depression, helps with inflammatory skin problems like acne, poor, poor, psoriasis i was saying psoriasis no psoriasis and also may have neuroprotective properties that can help um, fight against neurodegenerative diseases like parkinson's alzheimer's als and ms things like that so there is oh, i'm a bit right so there is a lot of benefits to cbd oil as well as like you know you can get prescribed stronger doses if you are in like pain things like that but for now i'm sticking to my hemp gummies Honestly, guys, I haven't talked to you in so long. It's so good to be back in front of the camera and actually, like, talking to you. I will do the food of this video, like, the food prep and stuff um, over voiceover. But I just wanted to show you, like, the garden where I actually get most of, like, my greens from. Especially, like, when I make a green smoothie and everything, which I will do in the video later. Just so you guys can see. But just look at this beautifulness. So, I usually I put, like, kale... I'll use some of that green spinach there, some of the green spinach here, some of the green spinach over there in my uh, meals. Today I'm thinking about like making an omelette because I've just done a workout. I don't usually have protein powder as much these days just because uh, I'm just conscious of it being more synthetic. There are natural ones that you can get and I do have a natural one that I'll put in like oatmeal or something like that. But today I'm feeling like an omelette for breakfast so I'm just going to pick... So I'm just going to pick some of these greens just here um, to chuck in my omelette. I might pick, oh, might, oh, might pick some of that. Like I like to vary it up. We do have chard here. I think this is chard. Um, but I will stick to my little spinach leaves. Okay guys, so for breakfast you're going to need some eggs, some mushrooms, some cheese. I like to use goat's cheese because I'm actually intolerant to dairy. Um, I'm going in with some spinach from the garden and I also like to use some keto bread as well because my mum's been making these delicious keto bread recipes. I will leave it linked down below if you guys are interested but they're amazing and it's also grain free which is also a plus because I get quite inflamed by anything with grains. So what you're going to do is crack two eggs into a bowl. Now you can just use salt and pepper. I've actually been loving using these like chili flakes um, because I just love a bit of a kick in my omelette, but it is up to you what you will go in with. If you just prefer salt and pepper, then just do that. You do you, boo. <laughs> then I'm going to go in and just whisk that quickly so the eggs are nice and broken. Put in some of my goat's cheese, some fresh spinach, chop up some of those mushrooms, chuck those bad boys in there, and then I just chuck it all into a frying pan and use some coconut oil as well for the extra fats. And then voila, you have your perfectly cooked omelette and it's ready to enjoy. <laughs> So for lunch, I've actually given you guys two options because 
I actually filmed this over a couple of days and I thought well not everyone loves a green smoothie so I thought I'd use like another option which I filmed on a different day so I'm not having eggs twice in one day I just filmed this over a couple of days <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys the green smoothie first so here's my beautiful garden I'm going to pick some kale some spinach I've actually also added some different ingredients to my green smoothies lately to make it more of a juice. I've used parsley and coriander, which are great for detoxing and also getting rid of heavy metals in the body. So that's a plus. <laughs> so in this smoothie, I'm putting in some coconut water, some green powder, which my sister made. She just dried up some greens from the garden, some spinach and kale, a frozen banana and some avocado. So you're going to add in your greens. I'm going to put in some greens powder as well. That's optional if you guys want to, you can. I'm sure you can get some from your local health food store as well. You don't have to make your own. Pop in the coconut water, banana and avocado. And then just watch this bad boy blend up. Honestly, it's so satisfying seeing that kale just get zoomed all up. <laughs> And that is pretty simple and easy to make if you guys are in a rush. You get your greens for the day. And I've honestly found it's really helped clear up my skin. I'm actually quite acne prone. And having a green smoothie every few days or so, like a few times a week, has really, really helped clear up my skin issues. Okay, for the second option, I actually used a couple of gluten-free English muffins. So basically what I've done is just to put half an avocado on to the two little English muffins there, fry it up. A couple of eggs I like to fry it so that the omelette bit isn't like the yolk bit isn't runny because ugh, ugh, I hate a runny yolk but of course you do you I sliced up some goat's cheese again and then I've put on I've sauteed up some of the spinach and kale and put that on top as well now I didn't show this but I actually put in a bit of uh, tomato chutney because <laughs> this girl here loves a bit of tomato chutney but you can put some sauce or nothing on or just salt and pepper if you prefer now, I've also been having a fennel tea a few times a day. Um, it's got so many health benefits to it and it tastes honestly so delicious. So here I am just showing you the brand that I use, Puka, I think it's called. And I have I usually have that with breakfast, lunch and dinner, or I'll have it like with lunch and dinner if I just don't feel like having it three times a day. I might have a different tea in the morning, like a dandelion tea or something. And voila, that is my second option for lunch. <laughs> Now for a snack, I'm not usually this bad, but I thought, you know, I'm going to show you my realistic what I eat in a day because sometimes I want to treat myself and honestly, I'm obsessed with like gongcha, like those bubble teas. Oh, I am obsessed. My favorite go-to is actually the coconut milk one, which I'll show you here. I usually get the milk tea, which is the coconut milk tea because it's dairy free and I get the pearls and the lychee jellies and oh, it is everything. It is so good. Um, so me and my boyfriend went and got a cha time, I'm sorry, a gong cha and enjoyed that and actually was absolutely pouring down with rain here. So I actually had to do the dash to the car. So you'll see in the next clip, I'm a little bit wet, <laughs> but it was so delicious, honestly. And it's such a nice snack for just, you know, to get you through the afternoon. For dinner, I made a nourish bowl or some people call it like a Buddha bowl. Oh, it's the best thing ever. It's so easy to make. I change up the veggies each time I make this. This time I decided to put in pumpkin, which you guys can see here. I'm just chopping up some pumpkin and I roast that in the oven, salt and pepper and a bit of coconut oil. Uh, I think coconut oil is the best thing to use because it's high, it's high in good fats and it also doesn't change its kind of metabolic makeup, whereas olive oil does change its kind of, I don't know what the word is, but like it's not good to cook it on high heat. So I like to use coconut oil. I also did the same with sweet potato, so I chopped that up, roasted it in the oven with some coconut oil, salt and pepper. I decided today to roast some Brussels sprouts. I also roasted up some broccoli, red onion, um, and I can't remember, a few other bits and pieces I think. I think I sauteed up some asparagus too. I also went in and made some tofu because I am vegetarian so I don't eat meat. So I like this for a source of protein. And guys, if you're not a tofu fan, use this sweet chili sauce. Honestly, it would, it's a game changer. It is the most delicious thing in the entire world. It just creates such a nice crispiness to the tofu. I usually use firm tofu, by the way. I don't use silken. I'm not a fan of that. I like the firm tofu. So I cook it up first, then I'll marinate it in this sweet chili sauce. And it is so delicious. Like, just try it. Honestly, you'll thank me. It is the best thing ever. For the dressing, I make this, like, tahini dressing. So I squeeze one lemon. Add about two to three 
tablespoons of tahini sauce. Now, mind you, I'm feeding six people here, so you probably don't need to use the same amounts as I am here, but I was cooking dinner for everybody as well as myself. I also go in with some oregano and basil into the mixture, and I also go in with some almond milk. I put the lemon juice in already, and I went in with some olive oil, which you'll see next, and some salt and pepper. I usually like to mix in the lemon juice and the tahini sauce until it kind of forms a paste. Then I'll put the milk in and the olive oil and all that kind of jazz. And that basically is what I put in my nourish bowl. So you guys can see here I've roasted most of the veggies. I did saute up some mushrooms and some asparagus. Don't mind the chicken, that's for the meat eaters in my family. <laughs> I'm not one of them. I also sauteed up some beans and... Um, also chopped up a bit of avocado for some healthy fats in there too and that is my nourish bowl i hope you enjoyed today's little uh what i eat in a day vlog let me know what you thought would you try any of these meals what you guys like to eat in your day and let me know if you'd like to see another what i eat in a day <laughs> love you guys Mwah. bye